This is a user onboarding and uh, sales optimization flow for the website Funtober. Doing this for um, someone on the Philly Startup Leaders mailing list. Um, so we get to the homepage. Their main focus was um, driving visitors to their events and to ultimately their costumes, um, sales and conversion pages. So um, they also stated that a lot of people came in through the side door uh, via SEO. So um, that's going to affect some of the things that we're going to be able to do here. Uh, the website, very attractive looking, um, based on a uh, WordPress uh, template, a uh, nice attractive template, um, some small tweaks as far as design items uh, are possible. Uh, the, the big changes I see are menu items, um, small long tail things, because I think the site is actually really well done. The content is, is pretty amazing. Um, I think just some some menu wording changes and some uh, sales page tweaks as well as maybe playing with some of the colors um, are, are just some long tail things that I think could improve the site. Something small like this, just the font size being a little out of whack here. These are all things that should be able to be done um, in the WordPress admin system. So let's hop over to the costume section, which is really um, the e-commerce and where the site's really going to start making the money. Um, I imagine the events page we'll get to in a, a minute is a, a lower revenue um, placement rather than here. So immediately the issues I see are um, these bullet points up here and these for um, sales based um, bullet points being placed over the uh, search box. Somehow they seem tied to the search box when really they're their own um, confidence building tools that you display to users on your sales page to get them more confident in buying from you. So uh, I don't think there's a correct placement for them. The search box should be right aligned over here. You, you can have a little square blurb here, which would be fine. Um, they're, they're both, these are both linked to, which hops you out to the about section, which is fine. Um, but if you're doing it to encourage sales, then I wouldn't have a link that goes someplace else. I would just have this as a static image. Get these broken out into their own right hand. Um, so if we get to the a, a product sales page, get these four bullet points and same day shipping all broken out into a right uh, column section that we could have on all these pages or possibly somewhere down here, somewhere else on the page rather than at the top because it, it kind of takes away from the header. Um, the, the main issue I see with the costume section of the website is the menus. Uh, this checkout item is not really a uh, menu item. The help is something that should be floating up here, maybe even replace uh, this section with the help in contact, uh, the Funtober should probably be placed down into a footer. Um, so for these, for this whole section of the website, we're just trying to get people to uh, give them enough information to make a purchase decision for a costume. So a lot of this is taking away from it. Uh, the Funtober link is about the site. I would have this in the footer. Um, fall fun would take people out of the costume flow and into the events flow which is fine if you see a lot of crossover but you're basically taking someone out of your sales conversion funnel and sticking them into um, in a, their your event flow which are two different target audiences um, so removing this would probably be a good idea checkout isn't needed especially if I don't have anything in the cart right now Help is something that should be sticky on all the pages, but not in the category navigation section. It should be moved over here, I think. Um, this search box should be removed since we have this search box here. Um, the main things, the main menus I like are the are these four over here: custom ideas, accessory, kids, adult. I would also even break this out uh, since we're getting rid of all these menu items. I would break it out into men, women, maternity, and plus size. Um, and then you still have accessories and costume ideas. So that would give a user coming to the costume section of the website 
their main navigation choices for uh, finding a costume that they want and checking out. It, it gets rid of a lot of this um, information that's or menu items that aren't really um, driving that that process. Uh, I noticed a small some small issues with um, costume names. There's a Hannah Montana costumes. They are obviously wildly popular as stated, but the title is Gold Hannah Costume, so you have to understand that uh, Gold Hannah Costume is what's going to be shown on the search engine results page. Um, I guess if someone's searching for a Hannah Montana uh, costume and they see this in the uh, title of the search engine results page, they'll understand that that's what they're looking for, but um, for an SEO standpoint, as far as the indexing is concerned, um, this is an H1 tag, which is the highest priority tag uh, Googlebot gives to a page content. So just adding Hannah Montana in here um, is going to give you a little tiny goose on the, uh, the way Googlebot views your page content and what it's all about. Uh, on the sales page itself, the content is great. Um, one small niggling thing I see is your call to action button. The add to cart is a very nice looking button. Uh, in the traditional orange, we want our conversion buttons to be blue, green, or orange. Uh, the only issue I see with it being orange on this website is that a lot of the other um, page headings in design elements are also in the same orange. So this add to cart button really doesn't stand out as much as it could. It's definitely attractive and and most people will know that this is where we're clicking to add the item to the cart, but it's not a direct call to action where my eyes are automatically drawn to it. It kind of blends in with these other orange sections here. That's a, you know, if you change this to a blue button, that might you might boost conversions by, you know, two or three percent. Probably nothing. Maybe not even that. Maybe one or two percent. Um, one thing I did see that. So this next. Um, Previous and next, I saw a costume with multiple views. Uh, it had multiple images based on the content that they were viewing the adult cat suit, I believe it was. If we go here, it shows the front and back. We're able to click and view, but now I'm not able to see. Let me. Uh, so this is obviously a usability issue. I didn't click on the enlarge image before. The only way to get rid of this is to uh, close out the whole page. Wow. So that's a major problem. Let's get back to where we just were to see if we can duplicate this. Adult cat suit. I'm viewing this cat suit. I want to take another view at it. And it gives me the impression on mouse server that it's going to give me an inline modal pop up um, window where I'm able to view the larger image of it. But it, even on mouse over, it has a link to the um, file name here. But if I click on it, it takes us out. It uses the adult, the apparent window and just displays the J, uh, JPEG image. Um, and if a person clicked out of this, they would actually lose the website. So needing to use the back arrow gets me here. So have to work on your light box there. It might be just some JavaScript code that's that's not right. But anyway, so that's actually a major issue because it takes the user out of the website and possibly it kicks them off. Um, that wasn't the issue that I noticed. I noticed the issue with the previous and next. I actually felt that this that these two nav options were uh, tabbing through the images, and in reality, they they take you to uh, a next related product, which um, isn't intuitive as far as what I would have, have thought based on uh, their placement on the page. So. Um, stripping out content that you don't need on this website is probably something that you're going to want to look at. Um, get rid of the next and previous, get rid of all the, the menu options as discussed before. Uh, you probably don't need a second search uh, item. The store policies might be a great place for the uh, easy returns, family owned, fast shipping um, uh, section of the website. Similar costumes, these aren't really similar costumes. Um, Getting getting rid of them, you you want to take uh, as many links if they're if they're not really tightly related to one of each one of each other. You want to remove them from the website because it's taking the user away from their intention. 
uh, and sticking them into something else, they might get distracted and say, oh, well, that's an interesting costume. Let me click over there, but not something that they're actually looking to buy. So um, I, uh, unless these could be refined to being actually more tightly matched, um, I don't see them actually providing more benefit. Um, this is a little bit of a mess down here. Uh, you have your share, your add this share box um, to this page, but it doesn't really say this needs a label. Actually, I, I mean, are these is this your link to your Facebook page and your Pinterest page? No, it's not because it's an ad. I know this is an add this box, and it's actually a share widget. So you really should label this with a uh, share this page um, title, so the user knows what this section does. Similarly, with this, uh, I don't think it needs to be duplicated twice. Um, if you simplify the page by removing some of these items you'll and adding a label to this, if a person wants to share the page, they'll do a quick scroll to see if this exists or not and be able to share it. Um, I don't think you need a couple placements of this. More costumes, if these costumes again are not tightly related to what this is, uh, what they're viewing now, then I, I think they're taken away from the uh, user conversion flow. This is great down here, the um, category navigation, because this is helping your CEO with your internal links. That's fine. Um, this footer section could be tightened up a little bit. It looks like uh, the height of this box, the height of this text is similar, but um, this logo is a little bit larger. So I would just scale this a little bit, kind of tighten it up. Um, but again, this, that's all nitpicking. Uh, I see the blue links lose throughout, used throughout the website. Uh, blue is definitely the ideal color for uh, links within a page because it's the most common link color. Uh, this, this blue is a little washed out, a little light. If you see on some other pages that have uh, more than these links, especially on the events page, these look a little washed out and they get lost a little bit. So um, darkening up the blue um, might be a little bit better. Hopping back to the main website, the event section of the site is really uh, the seems to be the most um, content heavy and, and really well done uh, aspect of the website. Changing the menu labels and titles uh, is going to have an SEO impact because uh, um, if you orphan those previous pages, if we change festivals to fall festivals, which is actually a more accurate description. Um, you're going to lose the Google um, juice and internal links that were coming to this page. WordPress does have some uh, tools and plugins that you could add to your WordPress page to ensure that these orphaned, um, if we do rename this to Fall Festivals, that you're not going to lose um, the old incoming links to festivals. So that's something to look into, especially in June, um, where we can make some of these changes and uh, not have a huge impact on our SEO and kind of recover by uh, October. But, you know, I'd be a little wary of doing any major menu renaming um, this close to October because if you do take a big hit, then that's not something that you want to have to deal with. Um, but that's the exception is being the costume section where I would still remove those menu items that aren't really helping and add the additional menu items um, that I mentioned before. But... The event section, uh, I, I see there's a lot of content in it, but uh, if you're trying to solicit events uh, or event organizers to submit their events, I, I didn't see anywhere on the website to do that. Um, so that might be something, there's no call to action for a person to submit their festival. If you're actually going out and doing all this research yourself, then that's, that's pretty amazing. Uh, but um, you at least want to open up the door to have people be able to submit their own events. Um, I know I ran a calendar app for the state of New Jersey years ago, and uh, you'd be surprised how many people track down places where they're where they uh, are able to add their events. So that's something that you um, want to have a call to action. List your event at our website uh, it is is uh, some call to actions that you'd want to have, especially once they get into the um, the event section. Um, of the site versus the costume section. So again, I think it's a great site. Um, some small changes, I think, that are all that are needed, especially on the costume section. Um, SEO-wise, you're going to get some benefit there. Um, simplifying, 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 and making these uh, a little bit more focused towards the products rather than uh, 
getting people out of the flow by pages that aren't really driving your conversions or, or just some thoughts and, and again cleaning up the pages getting rid of some of this extra stuff that isn't isn't a part of the sales process so that's a quick one dirty one but uh i hope that helps at least some good luck